What's up? Welcome back to Damante's World. Today, in this video, we're going to be discussing our thoughts and feelings of what's going to be coming up with Mulan. We will be watching the movie and we will be reviewing it. We'll also possibly be doing other new time films, but in this episode, we're going to kind of give our thoughts about Mulan just because also uh, she is a huge Disney fan and Mulan was one of her favorite um Disney princesses or characters that you want to say that was you know was up there so we watched the trailer mm -hmm. we kind of have our feelings and thoughts about what's going to be happening and so you can start off and so you can go ahead and you can go first um what's what's your feelings on what you saw from the trailer okay well first off we have to acknowledge one thing that's been upsetting a lot of people and that is Everyone who owns Disney Plus is able to watch it for, and I've seen two different prices for some reason. It's either you 30 have? bucks or 25 bucks. Like. Maybe as, uh, 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 the longer you, like, the more, because the way it normally works is, like, if you rent a movie from, like, Comcast, like, On Demand or whatever, they give you, like, as soon, like it'll give, they'll give you three days to watch it. As soon as you click the button, you have 24 hours to watch as many times as you want. Yeah. Possibly that that means if you pay 30, there might be a possibility where you get like an extra few hours to watch. I don't know. Like, I, I is there was there details so, on it? No, I have to. We have to look into that more. But I know for a fact that there's a lot of people who are like, why am I pay, paying a subscription to Disney Plus, and then on top of it having to pay this extra 30 bucks to watch a movie when I'm already paying for this. And So at pretend first, if you don't have Disney Plus and you really want to see it, okay. um, you would need to pay, suppose, I think it was like $12 to get the Hulu, get the get all that stuff. We're not trying to uh, promote here. Just It's about $12. You're going to gonna have to pay out of pocket to get right. the subscription right. first off. $12 plus if you pay the 25 So you're really paying $37 just to watch Mulan if that's the only thing you care about. Yeah. And you don't care about nothing else after Which, you're done. in essence, I guess is a little silly. But, like, at first when I saw the price, and we talked about it too, I was like, what the heck? Why am I paying the subscription if, I mean, I don't get the perks of seeing the movie first? Well, and originally without... when I saw it was going to be on Disney+, Plus, I thought it was an exclusive thing to push people to come to Disney+. Plus. Yeah, I but thought it was like the Lady and the Tramp pay. thing. They had the live action, and that's what they were trying to suck people in. But that was what? few months in, I mean, that's like, when it like, first no, came but it was like a month or two after Laying Trap came out right I no, it uh, was pretty quick it was it, pretty quick it was probably like a few weeks out of the theaters then they just went like just slide it in no Laying Trap was never in theaters I thought it was no it went straight to Disney Plus but why then why are they not <laughs> maybe because it's a little more anticipated for Mulan compared to um, well originally Lady, Lady Trap, maybe. Mulan they're, they're doing all these live actions they did The Lion King they did Cinderella they did Van Maleficent They've done what else? I can't even think now. Maybe but few, I mean, originally it was supposed to be coming out what? Like it was saying March, March twenty seventh or something, and it's gotten pushed back, and now it's September. So now the first that I'm, week, of yeah. September. So I guess I've seen, I've heard both sides of this debate, and it comes down to it is that to go see Mulan in theaters, you're gonna be forking out like fifteen to twenty bucks per ticket, anyways. Plus, so as long plus as when you go in, you smell the popcorn, you see the mm -hmm. excitement with the mm -hmm. Coca-Cola and all that. And then when you get there, there's the ads itself where you just see the Coca-Cola literally just... Whatever. What the hell so, is even that? And, and it's just enticing you to go buy that stuff anyways. So honestly, there, there are people out there that if they, act like us, will buy small popcorn and will sometimes bring drinks or whatever the case might be. But I know there's people that fork out $100 for a family of four. So in a sense, if you can get yourself popcorn for what two, three bucks, what eight bucks for a big old box of twenty sets of popcorn, you have your own. So I'm saying, in are essence, are you telling people how to go to the movies? No, and, and no, I'm saying, in essence, it's cheaper to do it at home. It is. Yes. But still, I get what I, what you're saying. As is that long as still you paying. are inviting people over, you got at least one other person. If it's then you, it's worth its while. If it's you by yourself, don't do it. But even if the movie is great or not great. To be honest, like her and I, we're gonna see it with our families. Our family, like we're, mm -hmm. we're not going to just me go sit and me sit in the dark and pay thirty dollars to watch a movie. You know, what I, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. that that seems not worth it just because you're paying a ticket that's twelve dollars compared to 
paying it for 30 and you're si sitting at home you pay the 12 20 dollars to have the experience of the big screen and so on and so forth so it's not worth it if you're by yourself yeah originally before down, we see the movie yeah i know deep down disney was wanting it to go into theaters first okay so yeah. they got to make their money I and on it. top of it it's like okay do we make people wait until Thing, theaters open up again do they open up again but if that's the case or do we just yeah. give them access now and charge the you know a flat rate of 30 bucks which to be honest at it's like worth I've it seen, if you have, a, if you have yeah. at least what at least three people yeah. watching it's yeah, worth it it's worth it it's worth it in my opinion I don't know what you guys think but to me it's we like we'll give our final verdict after we see, we see the movie though yeah. but at the moment mm -hmm. it, it might be it might be I think in general, seeing that seeing a movie at the moment with the virus and everything, it is worth rent uh, renting a theatrical movie um, at the moment, paying thirty dollars. It's worth it to an extent if you really want to see it. But the review of our verdict, if it is or not, will be when we do the um, yeah the actual thing because the actual review. Yeah. So now going back to what we saw into the trailer. I can already tell by watching that that there's gonna be people who have some issues because the movie is different. I mean, the first thing that I noticed was the new character, the witch. Like, there's a witch in it. So I don't. And, and, and to be honest, I don't really know about the Chinese lore, the um, the Chinese um mythology, mythology, their, their um religious culture. And, and those are, and, and the mythology that comes folk with tales. the folk tale yeah. that comes with it. So, and to be honest, the witch was never brought up in the cartoon or the um, animated film. So, I don't know what this is about. It's gonna be. I, I think it's interesting that they added it on. Yeah. But I'm I'm just wondering why didn't they do it from the animated to now? Is it because they received new information, or is it just because we gotta add something different? <laughs> just because it's a um. Yeah. It's it's a live action, you know, film, <clears throat> yeah. war but, film. I don't know. Well, it it first things first. It, I mean, clearly, it's not going to be the same movie. It's not, but it does have a lot of the same the origin. elements. Yeah. And even in the thing like her hair clip, you can hear the music. They have they have the music. The aspect with their. Father, I don't know if they got that war. classic hit, you know, music. <laughs> But the, but the whole idea with the father and everything else, that's for sure. Yeah. So the background of Mulan itself is all on point yeah. to an extent, as so far from the trailer. But after that, mm -hmm. um, I don't remember her flying on her horse to the camp to train. We don't know that. That was just taken out of context. We don't know what that. I was know what I'm about. saying. Was that in the animated movie? Yeah, her horse remember. was a major major character in it. No, um, I know, but in the animated movie, oh did gosh, she do what's that? His name? She did do that, right? Yeah. She yeah. flee. She took her horse. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but it looks like, I mean, same element in the movie. The father calls on the spirits to protect her. It looked like almost yeah. like some type of phoenix coming out. I'm not sure. But there's a lot of things that are different. But it looks like Disney did took their time, in my opinion. So I'm, like, I'm excited for it. And I'm... I yeah, think it's I got a lot of potential. Uh, the first scene reminded me it's it's, it's, it's a scene. Uh, you'll be seeing the trailer while we're or the trailer probably already finished, but while we were talking, you saw the beginning of the trailer. Um, in the beginning scene, there's a scene of um showing like a little house and a, uh, a whole bunch of grass, like the way it looked. It kind of reminded me of a scene from Rogue One. It is Disney. And then also uh, from the other trailers, there's some scenes from the other mini trailers. That looks like it's from Aladdin's live action. Some of the some of the um, buildings, some of the cuts, some of the uh, scenes that there were. That I didn't. Were. I didn't. I didn't. No, get I that know it was it. other little mini trailers I've seen yeah. where it shows her like fighting um, Huns. Huns. Yeah. And I don't know if they're even called the Huns in this one. I, yeah, I don't think so either. Um, but it shows that. I mean, uh, that scene right there really looked like uh, buildings from Aladdin, the movie Aladdin. They, the they you can tell they took their time. It's some beautiful architecture. Did. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I I like the the to be choices honest, they made. I don't. I the, know a lot of it's going to be CGI because that's just how Disney and a lot of companies do now. now. But the way they did it, 
I don't know if it was CGI or not to an extent. So I know it looks pretty good. I know for one fact that I can't remember her name, but the actress who's playing Mulan, that she is a real martial arts master. Like oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and oh, a lot of the cool. people they chose, I like that. they know martial arts, so it's not like she had to go. Like she went through training, but she knew her stuff to begin with too. And I also know that they have some people who are really good with swords. It so wasn't like they're trying to get like, oh, we're gonna they got get a good some. Cast. We're not gonna get some big name actor like I don't know, like put Tom Cruise in there and just like, okay, we're gonna teach you a whole lesson. You know what I'm saying? I, I, <laughs> the samurai? What, what are you doing? I know that last samurai non- nonsense. No, the point I'm making is like them getting like a big time actor, actress, or whatever, and just saying, hey, you're gonna spend six months to learn this. Uh, she genuinely already knows. Yeah, and I think. Mean, awesome. Mm-hmm. I might have background music, so it's all good. So don't stress I think about it. You don't realize how loud that is actually on this when we're recording. No, but the background music takes that, I promise. Okay, we're almost finished, anyways. Yeah. So. Okay, so I think we just need to like say our final word. Uh, the only, I guess, issue I think kids itself is going to have a problem with this movie um, is maybe some of the cartoonish things that came Elements, with it. yeah. Uh, a good example is um, Eddie Murphy's character, uh, Mushu. Mushu, yeah. Uh, but obviously that probably, at the time, it was overlooked, but now would be, and originally it was a little, um, I can't think of the word. Not like, you and I talked about Mushu, how it wasn't, um, it, it was not nice for them to create, it was, create Mushu. It was kind of deemed culturally insensitive. There we go. That's and the world of And to be honest, it was. We grew up on it, so we're kind of... And, and for me, yeah. it was just... I heard Eddie Murphy's voice. To me, I was very happy. You know? A lot of people, kids <laughs> were. But now we're aware that, hey, this is kind of poking in the right. wrong areas. It's not right. So we need to change it and be more respectful of, you know, Chinese culture. And that's... What I'm looking forward to is is how how do they do that? How have they made it more? I think I like to see more of that the folktale aspects into it, and, and see the actual too, culture. And to be honest, too, I, I love the the possibility of seeing that Mulan is accepting her identity towards the end of the trailer, that she accepts who she is and she does what she thinks is right, which mm-hmm. is fighting evil, fighting the Huns or whoever they're called in the actual movie but I, I do like the trailer has showed that transition um, and hopefully we see that transition played nicely in the film Yeah. so that's what I'm hoping to see um, now I can tell just yeah. from the trailer too that the witch and Mulan are going to butt heads and I can already see there's going to probably she be that familiar. she does but there's going to be an element of like the mistreatment of women and you can already see that in the trailer that, that she's it's touching on that, so I think that's going to be a large I like that. moral yeah. of the story is, you know, equity and equality of women, and I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting. I look forward to it, and I, I look forward to reviewing it. I'm really excited to see how the script writer, the writers, um, be able to pull out its content and be able to display whatever message they want to display into the film, and so that's going to be key for me, and, and kind of how the production kind of just just seeing all of it mesh into whatever that they want to display to us instead of it just being an action film that there's all these elements I know Disney wants to push out. So yeah. it's going to be very cool. I, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I'm not uber excited uh, <laughs> compared to like Tenet or, you know, other movies that I, we will be doing on this channel, but it is, it is interesting. Um, it's maybe the, one of the most interesting live action movies that Disney's going to do just because... It is very different compared to, you know, Lion King. They kind of simultaneously kind of did the same stuff. And then all the other ones, it was... But Mulan is touching on something very cultural. And I feel like they're going to really display... Give it some dignity. And I think... And and change it to the point that it is going to become a classic. And that's what I'm hoping. Is that this will be... And also displaying that, yo, we're a big company. We know what we're doing. (laughs) They're going, to, they're going to bring out the big guns. And that, that's why I'm hoping for Mulan, that they really bring out the big guns for this. Just because, I mean, you have all those millions of dollars as a big company, and I really feel like I feel like right now with Mulan, this would be a good time to really show off their big guns and say, we can make 
they can make good movies, but I'm saying that we can make live action movies as good as anybody. I feel like that that could be something with Mulan. Yeah. I think it's so really that's good. That's what we're hoping. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's that's. Yeah. I, I, I'm excited to see it. I'm too. Yeah. It's gonna be good. I, I got a good feeling about it. But we'll see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will see because I know trailers does not always. Uh, f- yeah. We're gonna see if we can push you to to spend thirty bucks or just tell you not to. Just save your money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or uh, whatever how much it is. But yeah, we do appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all listening. Until then, though, we'll talk to y'all later. Peace! Every week, we provide resources and information that can help us all make a difference in the world. This can include links to important petitions, organizations to follow and donate to, small family businesses that you can support, and even literature and other podcasts that can help you get informed. Make sure to also follow Diamante's World on Instagram to find more ways we can promote change and justice. If you have an organization or resource you would like us to share, let us know in the comments too.